Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Dr. B. R. Ambedkar fought for the upliftment of downtrodden classes who faced discrimination from olden times. He always strived for the betterment of lower castes and he was the only person who attended all the three round table conferences. Let's help you make your mark. The Pune Pact was an agreement between Mahatma Gandhi and Dr. Ambedkar on behalf of depressed classes and upper caste Hindu leaders on the reservation of electoral seats for the depressed classes in the legislature of British India government in 1932. Make your mark, take our lead. Why was the second round table conference of 1931 unsuccessful? 7 marks, June 2000, November 2009. They didn't agree with one another. It was mainly Gandhi who was difficult to negotiate with. Firstly, the conference was unsuccessful because Gandhi refused to recognize the rights of the Muslims. Let's help you make your mark. Why were the dial thus? None of its leaders were there in the conference and with no Congress participation, it could not become successful. B. The second round table conference took place in February 1931. A month earlier, Mahatma Gandhi was released free from jail. Hence, he volunteered in the conference. Let's help you make your mark. The conference was chaired by the British Prime Minister, Ramsay MacDonald. Sixteen delegates representing the three political parties of Britain participated in the conference. From India, 58 political leaders and 16 members are representing the princely states participated in the conference. Take our lead. The second round table conference was failed due to the communal representation. Hence the correct answer is option A. Note. This conference was held from the 7th of September 1931 to the 1st of December 1931 in London. Before the two weeks of the conference began, the Labour government was replaced by the Conservatives. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.